if a kid in your child's class gives out birthday invitations, just come. It's like an hour or two of your life. Her birthday party is going to be this weekend. Our mom died of brain cancer 83 days ago. One, one child from her class RSVP. I haven't even told her that. Like why? Why? Her whole class knew what happened. I was receiving floods of Instagram messages from moms asking, you know, where I lived, if they were close enough. And within maybe a couple of days, I had a team of women who lived local to me who were going to decorate my house and help me clean it, who were going to um, assemble the balloon garlands at their own homes and bring them back and hang them. So it became something of its own right away. So at no point, was anybody bored, that's for sure. Um, if anything, I think a lot of kids were just like, there's more, there's more. This wasn't just, you know, Charlotte's first birthday without mom. This was Charlotte's first birthday party ever. A lot of people who go through cancer and have little kids, they make these sacrifices and they have to decide, you know, what do I actually have the strength and the energy for because I want to be at my healthiest, but if I throw myself into inviting people and whatever germs in a pandemic into my home, I could put my life at risk. So that wasn't something my mom ever really got to do. She never really got to be the party planning parent. It can be pretty isolating to hear people say that they feel for you in your grief and they wish you all the best and never actually see it in person. Like, do, do I actually matter? Does anybody really care or do they just leave nice comments? They do. People mean what they say. They actually do build relationships with people through a screen and they put their money where their mouth is and they show up to a birthday party for an eight-year-old who was going to have a really sad day and they change your life.